Platinum is a very useful catalyst in many applications from fuel cell battery to the production of fertilizer. However, the platinum deposit in the Earth's crust is incredibly low. In fact, it is about four times less abundant than gold. Since the catalytic reaction only occurs on the very surface of the platinum, plating a thin layer of platinum onto other metal has become the most efficient way to utilize the limited platinum resources. In today's video, I will demonstrate how to make platinum coated electrode by electroplating. Now, in terms of the chemicals and equipment, this is what I have used. Both the sulfuric acid and the graphite electrode were prepared or obtained in my previous videos, and the hexachloric platinic acid was purchased online. To start things off, we need to prepare one molar concentration sulfuric acid solution. First, 30.6 ml of 98% sulfuric acid is added to a 215 ml volumetric flask with about 100 ml of distilled water. Doing it this way reduces the likelihood of a thermal runaway, as the disassociation of sulfuric acid in water is extremely exothermic. And it's also very important to allow the solution to cool down to the direct temperature on the volumetric flask before topping up to the mark line. Now let's check the temperature. Okay, 19 degrees close enough. Using a volumetric flask is already overkill for purpose. After topping it up to the mark line, I then thoroughly mix the solution to obtain a uniform concentration. Okay, now we have the acid solution ready on standby. Let's proceed to make the actual electrode. I use a steroid and coil the alloy wire around it. Eventually, we should end up with something like those. I then hook up the electrode to the positive and the graphite to the negative. Make sure they do not touch. A short circuit is something that we will all love to avoid. I then submerge the electrodes with the acid solution that I just prepared and adjust the dial so that 0 0.2 amps of current is passing through the circuit. This serves to remove the oxide layer on the surface of the electrode and expose the fresh metal underneath for later electroplating. Keep the power running for about 10 minutes. Where the electrodes are being cleaned, I figure that I should use a gap to prepare the hexachloropatinic acid solution. Hexachloropatinic acid hexhydrate is a reddish orange solid at the room temperature. By the sophisticated package for just a single gram of the chemical, you can probably tell this thing is not cheap. And it is not. Here is a general idea how much it would cost for just a gram of the chemical. This is also the reason why keeping this channel running is pretty expensive. If you are feeling generous, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate any of your support. Okay, since the platinum is sealed in a glass ampoule, to get it out, we need a very special tool. And I highly advise to do this in a bag, in case if the unthinkable ever happens, everything will still be in the bag. With the help of my trusty analytical balance, I weighed out about 2.5 grams of hexachloropatinic acid. An interesting property of hexachloropatinic acid is that it is highly hydroscopic. You can see the crystal is getting wetter and wetter as it absorbs the moisture from the air. With the addition of 35 ml of distilled water, the crystal are quickly dissolved into a solution. Okay, at this point, the electrode should be ready to go. I took them out of the beaker and thoroughly washed them with distilled water. Okay, after all this preparation, we finally come to the point to actually play the platinum. I connect a piece of platinum to the anode and the electrode to the cathode. Again, make sure they do not touch for obvious reasons. I then adjust the current to 0 0.02 amps. Keep the power running for about 30 minutes to ensure the surface of the electrode is fully covered by a layer of platinum. What this does is to reduce the platinum ion back to metallic platinum at the cathode. This way platinum is forming on the surface of electrodes. 
For better visual effect, I rotate the beaker so that the marking is not facing the camera. After a half hour of electroplating, I turn off the power and rinse the electrode with distilled water. We are also going to recycle the hexcore potentic acid solution for very obvious reasons. For now, I don't have an exact plan for it in the future, but I would love to hear any suggestion of what project I should do with it. Now to test whether the electrode is plated with platinum, I throw it in a beaker with 30% hydrogen peroxide. Platinum is a very good catalyst for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. And as you can see, the peroxide in the beaker is rapidly decomposing into water and oxygen. So we have successfully made platinum coated electrode by electroplating. In the future video, I will make a few cell battery using the electrode that we made today. A big thank you goes to all my supporters on Patreon. Everyone support me on Patreon and get to see my video 24 hours before I put it on YouTube. Anyone support me with $3 or more will have their name listed as you see here. I really appreciate any of your support.